Hello guys, welcome back to another update from EK Football News. Howard Webb, the head of the referees, is optimistic that new procedures would help prevent refereeing mistakes like the one that led to Luis Diaz's goal against Tottenham Hotspur last month being disallowed. The regulation that prevented the game from being called back even after the error had been realized, according to Webb, the chief refereeing officer of professional game match officials limited, PGMOL, the institution in charge of officiating in England, will likely be examined. The VR, Darren England, confirmed the initial offside flag that was raised for Diaz's goal for Liverpool. Diaz's goal was disallowed, but PGMOL later acknowledged a significant human error had been committed because replays plainly revealed the Colombian was onside. The incident's audio was also made public by PGMOL, and it revealed that England had declared, check complete, although the referee was unaware that the on-field call had been for offside. Webb confirmed that modifications have been made to the procedures the VAR and assistant VR employ to inform the on-field officials of their decisions while speaking on Michael Owen's program Match Officials, mic'd up, which analyses Premier League refereeing decisions and plays previously unheard audio between officials. He said, one of the things that you know this has brought into sharp focus is the need to reiterate some of those communication protocols that are really valuable in VR to prevent this type of thing happening. Not just saying, check complete, check complete, because what are you, check completing? Say, check complete. Goal confirmed. Or in this case, check complete. Offside confirmed. The game was not stopped after the error was discovered by the VAR and AVR, which would have violated the laws of the game established by the International Football Association Board, IFAB, the international organization in charge of the sports rules, upsetting many pundits and social media users. Webb continued, when the penny dropped as to what had happened, I think 20 seconds had passed, and at that point they considered whether or not they could intervene to stop the game. They recognize that the laws of the game set by FIFA and the International FA Board don't allow that. There's a process in place that sits in the laws of the game about how we use VR to make sure it's delivered consistently throughout every league in the world. It doesn't allow you to go back in those circumstances and as such they decided not to intervene. The International FA Board were in fact going to do a full review of the laws of the game relating to the use of VR and We'll look at whether or not there's a need to tweak some of it, and I'm sure that they'll be looking at this aspect of how VR is used as well. This season, match officials mic'd up seeks to improve PGMOL's accountability and transparency. The program acknowledged prominent VR gaffes, such as the wrong decision to overturn Diaz's goal in Liverpool's 2-1 loss to Tottenham Hotspur. Fans were reassured by Webb that the improvements made will stop the same error from occurring again. The 2-1 victory over Brentford by Manchester United was viewed as evidence of lessons learned. Anthony Marshall's goal was disallowed for offside, and both on-field officials and VR frequently used the phrase, confirmed, in their decisions. Yet humiliation and frustration still exist. Thanks for joining us for this update. If you found this insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow football enthusiasts. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. See you next time.